Hello, welcome dear spiritual friends. Thank you for being with me today. My name is Cindy St. Martin and I am a certified angel therapist and holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you are watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of June 21st, 2015. And yes, today is Father's Day. So I wish all you wonderful dads a happy Father's Day. I hope you enjoy your day. And even to those who are who are acting dads, not biological dads, but who are dads, stepdads, and, and uncles, and brothers, and all these wonderful people who are father-like to children. So all of you, I hope you enjoy this day. You are definitely a blessing on this earth and you bless so many people, not only the children's mother, <laughs> but also the children. So keep doing a good job. So I had already called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels to be with me today. And because of Law of Attraction and my intention, I cannot pick a wrong card. I will select one card from three different decks and then a prayer card from Archangel Michael. So I'm going to begin today's reason, reading with the Angel Therapy cards and we'll see what our first card for the week is. I hope you had a wonderful week last week and I know this week will be just as wonderful for you. <laughs> and I certainly hope that you are enjoying your day. Uh, my father has passed away so but I'm thinking of him today. And, and of course, uh, the other fathers who are in my life. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut the deck. We'll see what our first card for the week is. Cards read says you are profoundly clairvoyant, and the and the card reads says trust what you see in your mind's eye, as well as with your physical sight, for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. I do believe we all carry that gift. Some of us are more in tune to that gift than others, and it comes very naturally. But we need to trust that that vision, you know, and help clear your third eye chakra. You know, it's uh, by calling on Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron to help cleanse and clear that chakra. And it's dark blue and it's a nice circle there. And of course that sees what our eyes don't see, see further into that. So the angels are asking you to tap into that uh, for this week. And, and, you know, of course you could see with your regular eyes, but see beyond that point. See the divine things that are going on. See the real reason behind things and everything that's going on. And uh, that spiritual vision is going to help you heal. It's going to either help you teach and also for guidance to guide people that way and guide your life and your journey and your path. So you really want to tap into that. And of course, you can say every day, you can say this affirmation every day, I am profoundly clairvoyant. You can say that. I say it all the time. So I hope um, you take time to tap into that and know that you are. It's one of the gifts from God that we have. The next of the cards are the romance cards and we'll see what the romance angels have to say. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. It is the separation card. And it reads, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That doesn't mean, you know, separation or breakup. It can mean that. But it means that there could be time, you know, or maybe you need a little time away. Uh, you know, take, go on a girl's night out or a boy's night out. Or, or you know, just enjoy um, some of your individual time. 
you know, sometimes we need that. We need to tap into who we really are. It's nice to have a partner and it's nice to blend with them and have them along, but it's also time, sometimes we need a little bit of a separation. Maybe they're going on a trip. Maybe they have to uh, travel for a job, you know, any of those things, but looks like some time apart from that. Now, if you're not in a relationship, you know, maybe it's time to take a break from trying to find someone, you know, allow the universe to work with you and for you to bring you your soulmate or the someone that you're looking for. Sometimes we try so hard on the dating sites and we try so hard to find someone. So maybe it's time to take a break, take a step back, separate yourself from any of those things to help rejuvenate our our lives. And of course, it can actually mean a separation. Maybe you're in a problematic um, relationship, uh, you know, one that isn't working out, and it looks like the angels are telling you maybe it's time to take a se you know separate from that type of relationship. Okay, so that's that for the romance cards. Now I'm going to use a different deck of cards this week, and uh, healing with the fairies cards. This this deck has been calling to me all week long, so I just thought well, I'll pull it out and we'll use it today. So shuffle. Okay, this card won't go in the deck. This is the one I'm going to use. And it's the Parenting and Children card. Which is kind of cool being today's Father's Day. You know, whenever we have Mother's Day or Father's Day that comes around or any holidays, um, it's very important for parents, us parents, or if you're not a parent, maybe you're an aunt or uncle or something, to, to celebrate with the children. Be a good role model, okay? Because children see more than they listen. <laughs> but they listen too. They absorb what you're telling them. They're, very, they're like sponges. So when it comes to our parenting and children, getting together with them, take some time and spend with them. You know, especially that school's out now. And take a little time. If you can take a little time off from work, go right ahead and, and, and take the children out and do something with them, whether it's going to lunch or going to a playground, just spending that time with them. It's very important to be good parents. Now, part of being a good parent is also making a, a living and providing for your children, but it's very, very important. Um, it's on Friday, uh, a lady that I care for her name is Eleni, and um, and I and I every day I tuck her in for for her afternoon nap, and I kiss her gently on on the cheek, and I wish her a wonderful slumber, and and that I'd see her either the next day or if it's the weekend. Friday was, I'd say I see her on Monday. She said the same thing. She says to me, she says, "Oh, I want to hear all about your weekend when you come Monday," and you know and. She, She's always very happy to see me, and she and she lives with her her son, and her daughter-in-law, and they're so busy they don't take the time for her. And she says, in in the morning time she has breakfast with her son, and he has his face in the newspaper, and she wished that he would just put that newspaper down and talk to her, the short time that he has before he leaves to work. And the same thing with her daughter-in-law. She'll say good morning to her daughter-in-law, and she doesn't say good morning back to her. You know, so she was living there, and she she just felt like she, you know she was um, a burden, and she wasn't important. And as she laid for her nap on Friday, and I uh, and slept in her nap, she passed away. So I was the last one to see her alive, and and I was the last one she saw before she passed away. And I can't help but think, you know her life would have been so much more happier if her family members and this is a parent and child take a little took a little time to be with each other so whether if you're a child and you have aging parents please take some time with them they're very very lonely I, I've been a caregiver for the elderly for many many years and I see this happen over and over and over again they just want a little bit more time and know that they're loved and um before their day comes for their passing. So, and I'm touched by her. I'm very glad 
that I've known her, and I know she's happy where she is and where she she's meant to be. So, please, according to Father's Day, and make that time for parenting and children very important. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Archangel Michael prayer cards, and we'll see what our prayer card is for the week. I'm going to cut the deck. And the, the prayer card from Archangel Michael says, Lean on God and the angels for support. And it says, Dear God and angels, I give you this situation now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved and that's if we all just surrender things you know when I'm dealing with a situation I actually imagine myself jumping like God's hands are like this jumping in God's hands like this and laying back put my hands behind my head and say okay God I'm in your hands <laughs> I have no worries or concern so and um, that's what I was doing that and I, I don't worry so I thank you for watching my videos, of course, you bless me by watching and sharing them with others. And this creates a wonderful karma that in return you are also likewise blessed. I invite you to please visit me at my website at cindyshealing.com. There you'll see all the services that I provide. And you can uh, contact me and also connect with me through social media sites. And if you like, you can have a, a a personal session with me and it's very affordable just pick the price that you can afford and you will be enlightened and inspired and, and see things in a totally different way and hopefully come to a wonderful understanding of how blessed and wonderful your life is and how to manifest the wonderful things that come to you in your life so you are in abundance so I hope you take a, a advantage of that and of course we can connect either through Skype on the phone or in person if you live close by so I hope you, you will take advantage of that and I get to meet you. <laughs> and, of course, you can join me every Wednesday night also for my live web chat. Uh, it's at Wednesday night, 8 o'clock on the East Coast, and you can get a free reading from me and connect with other like-minded people. And if you're going through something, you're going to get lots of prayers and understanding and love for that. And that, just go to my website, click on the live chat link for that. So again, thank you all for blessing me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And again, happy Father's Day to all you wonderful fathers that you're truly blessed. So I send you lots of love and kisses from me to you. And know you're powerful when you're in the knowing. When you have God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you are powerful. So until next week, I'm going to wish you all namaste. Bye-bye.